just going within, breathing, being in that still, peaceful, quiet space within. Because all outer sanctuary is part of the outer world, and it's temporary. So we can find sanctuary in places. People come here to find sanctuary. But sanctuary is not a place. It's an experience. And it's, it's an experience you can have in a place. It's an experience you can have with another person. It's, it's an experience you can have just inside of yourself without relying on anything outside to find that inner sanctuary. And there is active principle involved in creating sanctuary, bringing in, washing the white light over you. It's actually sanctifying. It's purifying your own space. The singing, the chanting, the music, anything that we actively put into the space that brings a higher spiritual quality is a sanctification. And I think about these words of sanctuary and sanctification, and another word comes up for me of the same root, sanctity, the sanctity of something. And I looked it up, that word means sacred. Actually, it's the sacredness of something. Like, what do you hold sacred? What's sacred to you? It could be something outside, a place. could be a person. could be a relationship. could be your own body. could be your spiritual connection. The way I see the word sanctity show up a lot is with a couple other words, like protect the sanctity and preserve the sanctity, the sacredness. And protection is something that we also talked about last week in that piece for Martin that was read about protecting what is sacred so that it can have space to grow and thrive inside of the experience, right? So we, there is some requirement of that. But the thing is, is that protection tends to bring up an image of some sort of attack that needs defense. And in some cases, there may be a situation where you have to defend against an attack or something. But for the most part, the best defense is a good offense. And so simply knowing that there's something to protect or preserve that has sanctity is being able to see the sacredness that is present. And sacredness is always present. It's always present in self. It's always present in that other person. It's present if we choose to see it. We look for it. And then how do we play the offense instead of just protecting it? We see it and we honor it. Honor what is sacred. Build it up within your own awareness, within your mind and heart, and your connection to it. Seeing what is sacred, honoring it. This is pre-serving the sanctity of something. Because you're giving it place, you're giving it home within your own consciousness, creating a sanctuary that you carry with you, that you can always go to. We each have the ability, we each have the potential. The sacredness is always present. We can choose to see it and we can choose to honor it and build that, make that part of our experience. Sanctify, bring everything else up. These two combined, boom. There's a little response. Sanctuary walking. <laughs>